Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Okay, that card was the death card. So you could be going from one thing to another, transitioning. This could even be from a place, one place to another, one job to another. Um, coming out of a marriage, going to, into single life, coming out of single life into being married. Um, this could also just be... Uh, going from known to unknown or from unknown to known it's like a and it was a slow process it is a slow process here with, with the death card it isn't uh, all of a sudden like maybe in the tower or the ten of swords uh, this has been a process whatever it is you're doing it is a process uh from okay i heard from you know renter to homeowner or something of that nature it's a process whatever you're doing is definitely a process this reduces to a four, so it does talk about the home. It talks about stability and roots. So you're going to being rooted and grounded. Maybe you're you're trying to, um, some of you want to do something with real estate. All right, so let's see. What's going on for Aries? Whoop, that card just, all right. I'm going to put these back. All right, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some relationship could be, you know, on the brink of ending also. You're in a place of just wanting to let it all, you know, just fall down or let it all die. Three of Pentacles, definitely paperwork, contracts, dealing with other people, you know, moving parts. It says that whatever it is you're doing, um, it's high quality. Whomever you're working with, they're doing all that they can do. It's very high quality work. You're going to get what you what you want. It is a pentacle card, so it's going to take some time. Um, again, we just talked about time. It's not as immediate as the Ten of Swords or the Tower. The advice for you is the Judgment card. So um, everything that you have done up until this point, maybe you need to kind of look over it. You also need to be um, happy and grateful for the wins is what I'm hearing. Um happy and grateful for the things that did happen for you and maybe even the things that didn't happen that could have been devastating you need to make some decision about um what you're going to do next also how this is going to look for you what is what is the advice here six of cups king of cups um it could be in regards to maybe reconnecting with someone from your past reconnecting in an old place and old going back home this also is about reconnecting go backwards so go backwards go into your childhood you could be dealing with some childhood trauma maybe with a masculine energy the king of cups someone who was supposed to be loving open honest caring this person could have been oh i heard a drunk or, dr or drinks a lot um you could have been dealing with a drunk some of you just need to go to therapy to deal with these issues. It says declutter, declutter where possible. So declutter in your emotional space because we got cups coming up. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. You got a lot of Scorpio cards, King of Cups, Judgment, and the Scorpio card, the Death card. The outcome here for my Aries here. The outcome here for Aries. Some of you are waiting for the the go the go ahead the green light in terms of some paperwork a contract you're working with you know someone else or some other entity you're going to it looks like you're going to get it but you also need to declutter your emotional space the eight of cups go on this spiritual self discovery journey this also talks about self analyst so analyze yourself where are you uh, uh, maybe emotionally are you getting fulfilled are you fulfilled. Um, you might need to take this journey alone. You need to walk away from all that is not fulfilling, all that is um, dissatisfying, where there is no content or contentment. The Knight of Cups, it looks like you're going to get some inspiration to do so, to move away from, maybe put more energy, effort, time into you. Some of you are very flighty. You take flight, your flight risk. You don't stay still. The Knight of Cups talks about doing a lot to find love, finding love, and then realizing that is love and it's a relationship and it takes work. And now you want to get out of love. You can't have it both ways. This could be you. This could be someone else that you're dealing with. Um, 
it says have re have uh real expectations and love relationships with the knight of cups here it says that what you're manifesting is very well on its way to you because you put out the energy you sown the seeds you're learning something also but at the same time um you need to kind of check you and your emotions some of you don't want to let someone go because you feel like they're a soulmate and there's time involved time can't give you nothing but time you know time makes lovers feel like they got something real but we know they only got time. Anyhow, Aries, if it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Um, you can also text a question to the number below and uh, pay for your question and get your question answered that way. You could sign up for Tarot classes with me. The link will be below. You could learn the Tarot with me. You could uh, purchase something from the Amazon wish list. The list will be below, will be below also. And if you feel like you want to uh, talk to me, you could talk to me via keen.com. Yep, the link will be below. You could chat with me for 10 minutes for $1.99. Can't beat it with a stick. $1.99 via keen.com. The link is below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.